Now, when we talk about when we talked about graphing from before, you know, I could give you uh, an example like this: x minus y is equal to two. This is a linear equation in two variables, and we talked about what solutions to the sky looked like. Okay, before we'd said this. We said that solutions. Solutions are ordered pairs that make the equation true. Solutions are ordered pairs that make the equation true. Now, we could probably look at this guy and come up with some solutions that would make x minus y equals 2 to be a true statement. Can anybody give me an example? An ordered pair that if I plugged in the x and the y coordinates, I could use 4 and 2, right? Because 4 minus 2 is 2. Is that the only ordered pair that works? No, what else? Five and three, only we get six and four. And we could keep on going on with these, right? I mean, I could even do something like um, negative four and negative six. No? If I plug in negative four here, minus the negative 6. Wouldn't that make that negative 4 plus 6? And that would equal 2. Or, what if I have 1.608 and negative 0.392? Wouldn't that guy work too? You're just going to say, yes, sure, why not, right? <laughs> if you plug that in up here, it should give you two, as long as I've done the math uh, correctly. But look what happens when we try to plot these guys, okay? If I try to plot the order pairs that you came up with, so we've got four two is right here. I've got the order pair five three, so here's five three. And you guys also said 6, 4. Now, I said negative 4, negative 6. So negative 4, negative 6 is right here. And then my crazy little guy right here, we'll just, you know, let's not worry about him right now. Now, what do you think about these, these points? Looks like they make a line, right? A nice, straight line. Okay. Well, let's see if we can, you know, connect the dots. And it should work out very nicely for us. Okay. So I have this guy. Now, why did I draw that line? other than the fact that, hey, it looks like it's going to go through all of those points. Everything on that line should be true. That means everything on this line is a solution. So the line right here, this line represents, it represents all solutions to the equation that we were talking about. That represents all solutions to the equation x minus y equals 2. So any point that's on this line should be a solution. Now we could pick off some other points here and see if that's really true. This guy right here, what are his coordinates? 2, 0. That's the order pair 2, 0. So if I plug in 2 and 0, it's 2 minus 0, 2. Right, that works out. If I were to plug in this guy right here, this guy has coordinates of negative 1, negative 3. If I plug in negative 1 and negative 3, that gives me a positive 2. So anything on this line 
is a solution. Now, the equations that we come across are not always easy where we can just look and find ordered pairs that satisfy this guy. So we talk about other graphing techniques using intercepts, using the slope, things that we've already talked about in previous classes. Okay. So we're just going to quickly review all of that and make the connection, you know, connect all that stuff, intercepts and slope, and even what we have here, uh, connect it all together. Now if you look at the actual graph of it, here's what the computer tells me whenever I graph it. And so you see it has all the exact same points that we had before. What do you guys think? Oh, Mr. Craig, your graph is pretty cool. You're, you're right. You're so right. 